Welcome to P.I.L. The Planicide Infantry League. This is 6v6. Two teams containing six players face off each other on a pre-selected base for two rounds of 15 minutes. The goal is simple. Try to outscore your opponent. There are many ways to score points. Each kill of your opponent grants one point, with a few exceptions. A kill with a rocket launcher is worth zero points. A kill as a max unit is also worth zero points. But killing an enemy max unit will grant you six points no matter the weapon. The first capture or defense grants your team a total of nine points. After this, a capture in the same round will grant your team a total of 18 points. As you gain points, there are some actions of which you will lose points. A team kill or a suicide makes you lose 2 points. A team kill on a max or suicide as one makes you lose 8 points. Each team starts from a designated spawn position from a vehicle called the Sunder. When the first round ends, both teams will switch sides. The team with the highest score at the end of two rounds wins the match. May the best team win. Hello, 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 everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to be your solo caster for today, because Monkey Head it was busy today, so uh, I'm going to be the only one casting for you today. Uh, I'm your fellow weeb, and... Uh, great caster be gone it's good to be here we're going to be uh, casting the rpn and uh, wfat match for you guys uh it's going to be a really interesting match i hope it's going to be close uh, i'm going to go through uh what each team is uh, rpn is going to be on tr while wfat is going to be playing on the vs uh, on the rpn side we have willie nate kennedy bloody manhim liver and Traxon or Traxons, I don't know. On WFAT, we have uh, Nerf, I don't know these names. Snake, Yip, Yippies, Ollie, uh, Filarino, and Nerox, or Nero, Neronox, I can't fucking speak today. Anyway, uh, going on to the map that we're going to be playing on is going to be on Tagannon, and I will now switch over to the in game cam to show you that map. Uh, so this is Ganon. Uh, it's been played on a lot today. Uh, it's fairly simple map, very linear, one building, uh, nothing special. We have one team starting right there on this pillar. The Sunday's right there. And then another one right underneath the bridge right over here. Uh, as we can see, uh, teams uh, don't have really many options to flank but this map is very flank heavy you need to you know on this side you can get heavies on the roof to drop into door one two or three uh, on this side uh, or both sides you can use the swamp flank which is right here uh, to go in uh, other than that nothing else really much hopefully both teams are ready and we can just get into the match as quick as possible uh interest to see Let's just see what uh, each team's gonna do. Uh, I know uh, RPN more than I know WFAT. I believe that they're gonna start off with the standard uh, setup, but I'm interested to see what WFAT's gonna do. I think these teams are both very evenly matched, and it's gonna be an interesting match to watch. It's gonna be close. Hopefully, it's gonna be very close. Uh, why Ganon and not Pale is because uh, Pale is a bad map. Uh, confirmed by everyone who plays this game uh, in a 6v6 format. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. We have server room, and this is probably where most of the fighting is going to happen in this match. Is in this hallway, server area, skinny area, and up fat. I don't see either of the teams really locking each other out, so most of the fighting is going to happen inside the building. Uh, I think match is going to start here soon yo ryan if you want jump on in i need a co-caster
starting 15 seconds. 15 seconds to start. I'm going to follow in uh, RPN, see what they're going to do, and look at what their loadout's going to be. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Match starts. Good luck, And that's match start. It looks like we have the standard setup four heavies, one bolt, one LA. On the other side, we, it looks like we have a heavy going onto roof. Kong's going up into server room. RPN, huge push up fast. Pushing in, taking out one. Taking together really well. Playing aggressive, actually. W Fat. Playing pretty passively in this. Getting a drop, taking out the ball. From the heavy. But pushes alone, doesn't get any help. LA comes in as well once again. Good trades coming out, even trades coming out from the side. LA goes down on the flank, and it looks like RPN's gonna hold the building for now. And looks like uh, WFAT's gonna be stacking up, getting ready for a push, looking for any uh, picks. Getting a few picks, two picks already on the hallway. One person left on skinny. It's gonna be Manham by himself. It's gonna be a push by Bolter and the heavy. But trades out, LA comes in and gets the trade on that. Single LA fight on point right now. Oh, everyone, they're all missing their shots. <laughs> Goes down eventually to Nate Kennedy coming in and saving. Oh, no, actually got black handed. That's my bad. So RPN pushes back in, is able to retake control of the building because they traded out kills when uh, WFAT was pushing in. Uh, they're actually pushing up aggressive now. Pushing aggressively out of the double doors. Kind of playing like B-Hot right now in backs. Playing super aggressive, pushing out the dubs, but backing off eventually, not actually losing anyone to that push. So WFAT stacking up again outside dubs, uh, RPN having the hold on that hallway right now, which is a very good hold, it's very effective if they get good crossfires, have a heavy and a bolt on fat, someone standing in the middle and then two sitting on skinny, it's huge crossfire, it doesn't allow for that much freedom from WFAT pushing into this, but RPM pushing up and peeking the doors is going to make them lose those 1v1 fights and getting pushed to heavy drops and flanks from door 1 taking out the bolter and I think that's wiping out uh, RPN off the point. So WFAT now has control and they're pushing aggressive to door 1 to pick off any reinforcements coming into door 2. Uh, they're going to be playing. I like this aggressive hold on swap stairs learning off of, uh, you know, you know, more experienced teams or better teams of, you know, Holding that swamp stairs actually even trade coming out on the swamp stairs from W fat which is pretty good allowing uh, them to can maintain control of the building without losing anyone Enemy heavy push coming in from RPN now try and push everyone off point we have one person on point it's gonna get pushed goes down W fat, Balter getting a nice pick, but getting traded out by Liver. And it looks like the, oh, the RPN is going to take control of the building. W fat going to be restacking on this. Now, other than the point right now, it is a very close game, seven point gap. So only really a wipe going to a clear wipe going to the side of uh, RPN right now. WFAT keeping the score gap there. They need to really contest point though. Push in. They get one pick. Walter on heavy, on fat, almost gets two. LA finally goes down to tracks and dropping in. Gets the second actually on point. Third on point. Super low health. Going to be pushed by the... Oh! Trades out actually the LA on the fat. 
and point is neutralized currently actually flipping into the favor of w fat right now so they are going to be able to keep the you know point from capping for a little bit now fight on point body shot onto the rpn heavy allowing the w fat heavy to win the fight another fight happening on point w fat maintaining control pushing aggressively takes out oh my gosh it's so far around the corner what anyway w fat pushing up aggressive now to take control of uh, that door one hold once again they get conked or flash either or two pushing up uh, swamp stairs is going to take out that hold and three w fat heavies go down without i don't think a single rpn player dropping so rpn needs to push in on this they have three numbers advantage four numbers advantage now really good push coming in from rpn being able to take all of this a building without losing anyone la dropped behind not sure how that went or that was might have been on roof fight on the roof manham pushed up aggressive goes down peeking into a few heavies bloody still playing aggressive gets peaked loses the fight but gets traded out by nate kennedy Alter fight happening on the fat stairs right now. We have a flank from a W fat heavy once again. Vault fight going on right now. Vault gets flanked, takes out the flank actually, trades it out. Missing the shot on the bolt. RPN having a solid hold right now, getting close to cap, 15 seconds, WFAT's going to have to make a move if they don't want the cap to go through. That'll extend the point lead by a lot, depending on how, seeing how much these two are trading. Both walk past bloody on fat and both die from that. Really bad move, just walking past and ignoring fat and wipes, and that's going to give, yep, that's going to give RPN the cap, and that's going to extend their point lead by quite a bit, uh, considering how close these two teams are with each other. Uh, frag wise bolt gets picked on the w fat side so their push is going to be delayed a little bit longer they're going to have to wait for that bolt to respawn uh maybe send have a heavy in a la on flank but heavy goes down on that flank pushing by himself without you know anyone actually being ready to follow in on that rpn has a very good hold right now on server room actually all going to door one right there allowing w fat to get in decently far once again w fat just kind of running through the stair through that doorway not actually peeking it oh good pick from the bolter on the nate kennedy though rpn push back in though just running through the door good pick from the bolter once again on from liver but eventually it goes down and that's actually w fat pushing out rpn from that would like to see them jump on point right here and get it because they do have time to recap Oh, LA going down on top of the second box. It's dropped. Not many W fat players remaining. Three of them on respawn. So that's going to be an RPM push in. Gets one. Oh, wow. Actually, wow. Getting three picks at the top of fat. Really good crossfire coming in from the two W fat heavies. One sitting on this box and one sitting in there peeking perfectly with each other to take out that push wiping out that entire push pretty much by themselves really good play by them now the la is playing aggressive on top of the roof keeping uh rpn's la from being able to play nate gonna be coming up swamp stairs by himself wins the fight keeps pushing no shields goes down gets traded out finally manham winning that fight wow Good win on that fight. Gets dropped by Ollie though and goes down. And it looks like WFAT's going to maintain control of the point. For now. RPN setting up to push back in while WFAT is getting uh, their heavies coming back in to reinforce. I don't like this aggressive push down door one though because they don't have that control. Just walks into two. That LA is going to be annoying on top of that roof though gonna be harassing that door one push here for a while hopefully i see see a drop coming from him going inside we got two w fat heavies going down playing aggressive on the doors when they didn't really have the control they didn't have the wipe to be able to push it up 
uh, looking at the scores, we see only about a 10 point, 11 point gap between the two teams uh, with five minutes remaining in the match and nine of those points is because of a cap. So really only a two point difference in terms of frags between the two teams right now. Good drop from the W Fat LA onto Manham pushing up Fat. Willy Boy, last one left. Oh, gets saved by the Bolter. Great shot. I would like to see the Bolt play right up here a little bit more. Got good sight line on door three, door two, and even, you know, if someone pushes in door one, which I hear him cloaking and uncloaking constantly. Gets a pick on door one. No one actually playing on top of Skinny yet. Balter is going to play on Skinny now, push it by himself. They should know that two are coming up the stairs right now. Yippee goes down. Oh, but the LA flank from Skinny as well as a heavy flank from Skinny. I think that that heavy jumped off of Fat down around point and came up. Traxon going down though. Only the bolt and a. Have our light assault left inside the building right now for W Fat against the RPN push, and RPN's playing pretty passively. They should be pushing into this. They have the numbers. W Fat is really stuck inside a server, and RPN's kind of playing back. They need to push on that. They're pushing now. Got two coming up skinny while the rest come up uh, fat. Wow, pushing in. Super good drop coming in from Traxon. Traxon actually dropping in behind. But a very. Yeah, wipes out the W fat hold that was happening. That was a super well timed drop from Traxon coming in behind Dubs, just allowing them to, the W or the RPN heavies to just peek into server and just annihilate everyone that was in there because they were either distracted from the LA or were distracted by the heavies and the LA got all the damage in. Interesting fight here having on uh, Fat Stairs. Everyone missing their shots, it looks like. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bloody wins out that fight, getting help from Nate Kennedy, but LA behind comes in and finally trades that out, then gets killed by Nate Kennedy. So beautiful fight having right there. Ooh. Liver almost getting picked. This, this sight line right here is a bolt. I just actually got bolted right there. Well, it's a good thing I'm a invincible in my observer camera. But this this is kind of, you know, usually where the bolts fight is through this sight line. As you can see, Liver's sitting on it, and usually Phil over there is peeking in through here, which he's going to do right now. Like, just like that. He's actually going to push in with, oh, here comes the W fat push. Don't have many people left. Ollie pushing by himself, getting the pick there. Ollie's switching to heavy, actually, now. It was on LA, I believe. Once again, this is a very close match. Only the point cap really giving RPN the lead in points right now. Each team trading out each other really well. It's just like I thought. This is where, ooh, good pick from uh, the Phil on the Nate Kennedy coming up skinny. And it looks like WFAT's going to take control of the building this time around. And uh, going to be pushing out to door one to try and take control. Uh, Bloody holding up, waiting for a team to come up. Sitting on uh, Swamp Stairs, waiting for a team. Does still go into a double peek, though. But Willie and Nate going to be pushing up the Swamp Stairs right there. Going into door one. Ollie dropping down on door three, getting a pick. Oh, my gosh. LA getting both the picks right there. Beautiful Kami shot coming out. 180 Kami shot into the head. It was beautiful. But that is going to be W Fat low on members. So now they actually back up to the back uh, top of Fat, which is what I like to see. Not pushing back down to door one since they don't have the control of it. Uh, RPN now going to be making a push. Conk's going up Fat. One pushing onto point. There is a W Fat heavy on point. Willy Boy not peeking it with him. Willy Boy actually going down. Actually, all really good win. Uh, wipe actually on the RPN, on RPN by W Fat. Beautiful wipe. I don't think they lost anyone in that exchange. Uh, but 30 seconds remaining in the match, and I think that uh, W Fat's going to be able to to maintain this hold. They see three people coming up Swampo. 
hope they don't stay there. They back off. Good job backing off. Actually, we have an LA flank coming from Swamp. Pushing in. Oh, but gets spotted out by the TR Light Assault. Now three <laughs> players going after him. In the corner, the Traxton finally takes out that LA, and now they're going to be pushing up. And Kill the and, and the that's out of rounds. No, no push going in for that. That was the last push. Sides. So, uh, switching over to the halftime scores. Uh, extremely close game. Even with the cap on RPN. Actually, I think it's with the us uh, points. I think it's actually dead even. Or almost dead even on the uh, points for kills. So, really close game. Uh, on the RPN side, we have Nate Kennedy going minus two. User joined your channel. Hey, how's it going, Ryan? Hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm not casting solo anymore. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> I thought you already had a cast. I'm sorry. Monk, monk, I'm gonna do. It's all good. Uh, but, uh, continuing with the scores, Bloody going, uh, negative six. Liver going minus three as a bolter, so having a tough time being bolting right now, it seems. Uh, Manham going positive three. Traxton going positive four. Willy Boy going positive three. On the W fat side, we have, uh, Aeroff, I don't know how to say his name, I'm sorry. Uh, going minus two, Snake going minus one, uh, Anro going uh, minus one, Ollie going minus one, Yips going positive three, and Phil going positive three on the bolt. So, uh, not a. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, not really, a, you know, too many frags from either team. We have, you know, one or two people getting into the 20s and close to the 20s, but. You know, otherwise, Bolt's not super effective, only getting, you know, just above 10 kills. Anything that you saw, Ryan, uh, during that half that uh, either team might need to change up to, you know, pull out the win? Oli, Oli switching to Light Assault was a bit of a, a weird one, because he wasn't actually playing on the roof, he was playing inside as a Light Assault, and he's one of their stronger heavies, so hopefully he just sticks to heavy, because he is at minus one right now. Yeah, definitely With needs uh, to... a 6% HSR. <laughs> it's insane six percent actually i don't have hsr on this but i'm not gonna worry about it uh but i think uh you know both teams very evenly matched i mean uh, only rpn really being able to take control of the building long enough to get point cap and that's really where their point differential is between the two teams is that point uh capture so uh really like to see a w fact get the point cap on this one and then just have the fra have each team frag it out and see you know who comes out on top. Yeah, W fat should be on the easier side to get the point cap this time around. Okay, so second round starts in one minute and ten seconds. They're already winning by one kill. They're just losing because of the cap points, so they could pull it back. It's a lot easier to to sit in and hold the server if you have a, a good setup. We start next tick. One minute. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm interested to see if RPN is going to take a WFAT strategy or, you know, with, you know, the B-Hot strategy of playing aggressive outside of door one on the swamp stairs. If they could control a building, because WFAT did it a few times, but didn't really manage it too well, got picked, uh, just taking bad fights. But interested to see if uh, RPN, if they get that control, if they're going to do it and how well they'll be able to hold it or if they're just going to sit on top of fat. Yeah, what they need to do is to like main like main ten control of that like swamp stairs. They need like the heavy or LA like sitting right above door one. That's what like Saiyan I saw was up there. Alpha, I, uh, Dad was playing LA, so he was hopping around between door three and door one. But they always had like a heavy support in Dirtle, even if like Dad was having an easy time against the LA. So if RPN hopefully tracks and gets someone up Five, on the roof with four, him, they can hold three, the staircase properly. Two. Oh, and One. that's actually round, the starts. round starting. I was, didn't have the in-match screen up, but I got it up in time. Uh, Going to be following WFAT. Looks like the same. Actually, looks like five heavies and one bolter. So uh, not even taking an LA on this side, which uh, I guess they don't have a strong LA. Strong enough LA to fight Traxon, so they're just uh, negating it all together. Uh, it's going to yeah, be dangerous on that. In. Four heavies and a bolt. Yeah, trade's coming out once again. A flank from Ollie though, he came all the way around, he got one. Yeah, but Traxxon drops actually. Having a hard time, yeah. He's got two people here though. 
got away though. So Tra Traxton's drop just a little bit too late, not being able to help out that RPN uh, initial push. And it looks like uh, WFAT's going to be taking point for now and taking control of the building. We Enough have of the nice trade there on Skinny Says. He was a bit late to bring his weapon up, but got the kill. And yeah, now Phil, only person really on Skinny right now to hold it, uh, but able to take out Liver. So WFAT being able to take control of the building currently right now, and hopefully see him set up a nice hold on server. Traxon's getting picks from the respawns though, and he does have Willy Bow on the roof, so it looks like they're gonna drop behind. Yeah, RPN yeah, having stacks down. set up, yep. This is, Spot. RPN's pushing LA in through server close. right now. Two kills, both had no information that they're behind them. Oh man, WFAT winning that out, just... Yeah, the, the, the heavies at the top managed to push skinny. Yeah, so he wiped it. An RPN push coming in through server got wiped so quickly that the flank really wasn't effective. So RPN stacking up once again to try and push into server. Bill watching that usual bolter angle. Ollie just tried doing a really like weird flank where he tried flanking six people at once, but he didn't, <laughs> didn't really work wait out. long enough. Yeah, he didn't wait long enough, so they're all standing there. He comes oh, around snake. and he's like, ah. Once a really good EMP came out from uh, actually Phil on that RPN push coming through server, and Snake, I think, was the only one that peeked that into server room and took out three people. It uh, just allowed everyone else on the team to take care of the flank that was happening from door one. So actually, WFAT uh, really <laughs> having good control right now of the building, and uh, it's going to take the cap in five seconds. A point cap's going to put them in the lead by eight right now. Both teams just waiting for the first move. We go. Nice pick from Liver. Very nice pick. Now, so, oh, Ollie, though. really good flank. Ollie's swamp flank working out this time. Eventually gets taken out, but everyone else uh, on WFAC gets picked, and RPN finally gets the wipe and gets control of the building. A little bit too late, but at least they got it, and now maybe they can try and set up and uh, get a, a recap and get that 18 points. I'm wondering if that was the strat to go for for WFAC. Go. All heavies with a, a bolt and go for the cap since they knew they were so close in kills to secure the cap and now they're gonna maybe pull an LA. Maybe it'd be interesting to see. I, I don't know if they have some uh, LA strong enough to fight against Traxon, especially now that they RPN has the roof heavy side or the easy uh, route for heavies to get to roof. I don't know if they'll do it. Willy Boy going on the door three flank right now while Traxon is dropping door one. Gets the bolt on uh, Fat, but it's going to be them. How Traxxon's alone, though. Yeah, he someone down Skinny. Ollie, one more left on Skinny. One one against one. Oh, he wins the fight. Almost gets Kami yeah, knifed, but... He was, Snake was hesitant to take that fight. I don't, don't think he had shields, and uh, he almost got the Kami knife combo, but wasn't able to get it. They'll be fat having two heavies pushing up skinny, uh, while another two, actually four WFAT members pushing up from fat, one now going to skinny right now. I'm not seeing any RPN heavies anywhere close by to help this. It's actually bloody completely missing snake running up skinny. And I have a phone call real quick, so I'll be back. Right, so, don't know if the cam's going to be following, but it's a 1v1 in the halls, Willy Boy with the double under boss headshot, absolutely going mental, Willy, look at him, maybe you can't see him, but he's, he's sitting on the point right now, absolute lad, Desi's going out, big commies flying across Garnon right now, boys. All right, I'm back, and uh, yep, I was I was trying to follow around what you were saying. I got the 1v1 happening in hallway. Uh, but RPN's getting control of the building once again. Uh, 
but they're playing passively on top of fat or maintaining control of top of fat. Uh, Conk's going to the top of fat right now. It's skinny. Nate getting hit by three of them. Uh, he's now gonna, gonna be sitting behind the box. Conk, Here we go. Oh, good pick Aaron by Liver. Good crossfire. Bolt gets one. Yeah, Snack Bolt gets traded off. out. Traxler comes in behind. Is he gonna get all of them again? Nope, he doesn't. He's not able to get it. He's, he's reloaded. He got reloaded. Ollie jumping around doing 360s while med kidding. It was a <laughs> very interesting thing to watch. W Fat maintaining the five point lead right now. Yeah, and that's what I wanted to see is them get that recap. Really and now it's just, you know, it's one wipe difference pretty much between the teams uh, in terms of points. Super close match. This is Very not the exciting. time where you want to be using Desis to get yeah, kills. Yeah, just like that bolt pick, I'm that bolt pick. You know, would have been nice to actually get a point off of that rather than Desing him. But it's going to allow them to push in. But man, nice, goes nice down. Nice crossfire on the skinny says though. Ollie gets one. Two yeah, but Willie, in Willie and Traxton pushing up from fat right now. So two W fat heavies are going to go down, and that's that wipe. And it's, it's evens are scores are even now. Exactly. That, that's that wipe. Yeah. So it's, oh, now RPN playing super aggressive on door one right now. They got that wipe and they pushed up aggressive. Nate Kennedy going down on Swamp Stairs down. Traxon falls back. Traxon is trying to use that Jaguar at that range. I'm oh my gosh. Can't do it, but against the heavy, Four W heavy. fat heavies Four walking heavy. up right into liver. That should have, as soon as Bloody fell, the liver should have ran back into uh powerhouse immediately it was not going to end well for those four heavies no, walking really up swap. trying to run up skinny he's absolutely pincered here was yeah, a he's going to be alone goes down eventually down. Now. now ollie's playing i think probably went through swamp and was playing aggressive keeping rpn out for a little bit longer emp goes out uh, Takes the shields off a few W fat heavies. Uh, Conk's going in, missing the doorway actually. One finally goes in. Willy boy walking into a friendly Conk grenade. Good fights being taken right now from RPN though. Getting the kills that they need. The crouch button's wearing down on these players, guys. Yeah, dude, the amount of crouching happening between these players. Oh, I think someone's uh, control key is going to break here soon. But RPN wipes out WFAT, regains control of the building, but are down one point in an overall score right now. So extremely close game right now. Six and a half minutes left. So Both teams are just playing so cautious. Ollie on the flank again with another heavy gets wiped out by RPN. So I think they finally realize that Ollie is always doing that. Also probably getting spotted out by Traxon since he kind of has the roof to himself right now. Yeah, so there we go. Traxon went in alone. He gets was one. Able to get one. He Almost down, gets a second. Bolt gets traded out though. If he had just waited with uh, for Willie. Willie's still on the roof though. Bloody Manham putting one. super aggressive. Yeah, yeah, they're playing super aggressive now. Yeah. Let's see. W5 I like to see it though. Up? Uh, Willie Boy That's playing above door thing. one. All well, the bolt and another heavy play around swamp stairs. Nice pick from Liver. Very good. Traxon w is fed. playing very aggressive and he's using up his whole mag for one heavy and doesn't fall back in time, so he just gets instantly killed. Yeah, it looks like W Fat's stacking up hard on door three area. Ollie's Man rushing in moving. from Willie here. Now he's gonna get chased. Bloody taking out the W fat heavy on uh, Swamp Stairs. So RPN's gonna make any control of the building for now. I don't know if they're gonna be able to make any control outside. Uh, Bloody almost goes down. Good double peek from Bloody and Willy. Yeah, the, the double peeks and triple peeks from these door one and door two is really what's put them up in the lead. They're about 10 points ahead now. Traxon playing points. above door three right now, really being able to, you know, kind of at least drop on a door three push if it happens. Actually, we have a someone switching over to LA right now from W. They finally started. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think Traxon actually Ali is on. 14. I think Ali actually switched over to LA as well. 
So door three actually fight going on right there. And I think W Fat winning out most of that. Yeah, w Fat need to take control now. They really need to get back in the game. We've got four minutes left. That yeah, and they can't they cannot allow needed. Yeah, and they cannot allow RPN to retake that point cap because that'll make the gap. Team kill. It's not what you want to see. It's not gonna help that score difference. Now Willie's stuck, Volter is stuck. Great wipe from W Fat, yeah, evening up again by like yep. one point difference. Yeah, and Super they needed close. to they need to keep look, control. Look at the... Ollie and on the roof. They were literally flying up the same place in the same direction. Was not able to see that, but it's I mean W Fat really needed to retake that cap just because if RPN was able to maintain that control and get the point cap probably would have been an insurmountable points gap with just how even the skill is between these two teams right now on their heavies. The RPN push did look like it was holding like holding off around that door one and door two, but there's only actually two people that are positive on their team right now. Traxton is plus fifteen. Yeah, being big carry right there. Hard carry. Meanwhile, on WFAT, mostly everyone is, you know, single digits, either positive or negative, so no one really being a hard carry or a hard feed. It's just, you know, everyone's playing the same. It's just tracks and being huge carry, getting good drops and winning that roof fight. Absolutely uncontested for about three quarters of this round. Brought him up to that net score. He doesn't look like it's dropping any soon either. Yeah, another drop in door Another one. drop, yeah, two heavies yeah. in LA dropping in from door one we and door three. Two people in skinny. Yeah, it was two, five pushing in, sandwiching in them now. Absolutely pincer. If they get two kills out of this, all right. Oh, they get one, no, just one, one trade. So, I mean. Now Ollie's coming in, he's headshotted though. He's it's just run running around, around the box. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work out too well for him. Still a two point difference though. Yeah, with two minutes left in the match, uh, point cap from RPN is not going to be able to happen, so it's just going to be who is able to frag out, and right now it's a two-point difference right now, so it's really going to come down to who's going to get a wipe and, you know, a clean wipe and get that, you know, five or six point gap and then maintain it for the next two minutes. It's going to be a really close game. Really with another frag, but the info's been cool. Nerf got it. Oh, yippies rather. Yeah, Willy dropping by himself, not really having help right there. Even trades coming out once again. Two Still for one two. Still one point difference. Still a one point difference. Liver with a good Oh, lovely body. shot, yeah. A very good shot from Skinny. Can you get the second one though? Oh, there's two people pushing up. Ollie's Ollie coming. pushing up. Super aggressive. Oh, Gets one. Blind. He got him blind. He, he flashbanged him. He got two Great kills. Shot, yeah. A really good flash. That evens up the That's score right there. The last one minute and 15 seconds or so. Is a play like that, yeah. Both teams. Eager to get back inside. Uh, control. It's one Ollie's minute for left to Ollie's one point. opting to stay inside for this last minute. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. I think he should go back up and just kind of keep Traxon from being able to drop, especially, you know, at least get call outs because the past few times there's been, you know, two heavies from RPN dropping behind. Ollie's trying to go on the roof, but look at this three people on the flank. Yep, just like what Willie, happened last man, time. Him and Traxon. Traxon comes in for the LA. Doesn't quite get him, but there's some Adamant. Oh, Bloody Nate got him instead. rushing right down into fat. Even trades coming out once again. It's Absolutely even right now. 190 to 190. It's, RPN it's, taking it. RPN getting a few. Oh, gets trading out. It's so close. Still one point, 30 seconds, seconds 20 seconds with one point difference. This is such a close game. Holy moly. A, a, pick, a pick from Bolter could be the difference Ollie in this game right out. now. All he evens it up. It's dead even right now. Oh no! Oh, but enough. what's he doing? Oh, he's just pushing onto point by himself. Up. Five he's seconds left. Right oh, it's I a two-point gap. Got it. Oh, but one. It's a one-point. It's one-point game. Two, two on oh, two points. Server RPN wins. No. Server script. I saw. An insanely close game. Two-point game. That by far the closest game in the match. The match that I played in against the. Uh, I don't even remember who I played against already. I'm I'm brain dead. But still, it was a six-point game. This just was extremely close. Really good game to watch. Exc Can't exciting the all the way through. Say, Knurf absolutely 
Terror, that, yeah. That. Why did that, he push on his own? Pushing his own onto that. Pushed was, on his own. They, that they were like, oh, gave no, him that one point. And then they all rushed in, and then Liver got the last frag, I think. Yeah, I, oh, like no. I was saying, that a bolt was really the difference in that game. A single bolt was the difference. Uh, I mean, if Nerf didn't, you know, or Nerf didn't die going onto the point there, it still would have been that one kill coming out from Liver that gave Knurf, Harpy and Nerf was getting shot at. The other heavy stood still, and Liver got him because he stood still. He was running otherwise. Yeah. You never that, know, he might have missed the shot. That was an insanely close game. That was. I, I hopefully we can get a few of the uh get the team captains up in here to talk i think it was like 10 seconds left it scores were like one nine two each. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna jump to halftime scores we'll go over that real quick while we uh see if any Especially on Ghana as well, yeah. User joined your channel. So yeah, Knurf minus six, twenty six kills, nineteen HSR for a heavy, it's quite low. You don't normally see that, it's normally around the 30s to 40s. Uh, Snake plus 2, 35 kills, it's a lot of kills. He's, yeah, he's second fragging on their team. He did quite well, yeah. He was one of the heavies that was pushing with, I think, Naranox when he switched back to heavy. He's on net I zero, so yeah. Ollie plus 2. I kind of expected him to be a bit higher, but I think what hurt him was the, the switch from LA to heavy back and forth. If he just focused down on one class, I think he would have done a lot better, especially if he started contesting tracks and a lot earlier on in that second round. Uh, Yippies, zero as well. So, like, these are not bad scores. Like, net, net zero is absolutely yeah, no, brilliant. This, this match was neck and neck, like, very neck and neck. No that? one was really feeding on the W fat side, as you can see. Yeah, so I, I mean, we got. Know, minus two, obviously. We got plenty of people in here for the interview, so I mean, whoever wants to take it over, I mean, that was a close match. Just go through what you guys went through, you know, on each side. Whoever wants to go first, take it away, because that was an amazing match to watch. Uh, I guess, it's like, yeah, yeah I mean, that go. was pretty emotional roller coaster, I'd say, in terms of match, you know. And the first half, I mean, we knew we'd channel. be going against a pretty tough team. Uh, concerned players, and we had a game plan going in. We've had a lot of Ghana maps, so we knew what we needed to kind of fix, and we kind of fixed some of those things. So I think really this was just emotional roller coaster the entire way. I think what really helped was our flanking ability on this game. I think our communication was just so much better compared to like the DAF game, uh, even Beehive, even if you know the Beehive match was like. But yeah, a big wipe. Yeah, but I, we we knew what we needed to do, and um, I don't know. I I I think all of us were just kind of feeling really good this match. We we're all pretty happy. Oh, you definitely know. two point difference. That's yeah, that's I, a really good. No, score. It, it was like it was trades back and forth like W fat. You know, Ollie the their, their horizons just like quad dinking me constantly and. <laughs> They're heavy the right trading back. Ban the horizon. Ban horizon, yeah. please. Ban horizon. <laughs> no, it so. was it was a constant back and forth. Like towards the end we were screaming. We we're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> who's gonna win? Like like we knew it was close. Um Yeah, no, extremely that, that close. Was, that was, uh, all I say is that was just probably the, the funnest match we've had this entire tournament. I, I think it was probably I've got a good question for Ollie here. Mm -hmm. Since you're in the channel as well, Traxon. How comes that LA did not come out sooner on that round two? I don't know, uh, we felt like uh, that there was not really a need of the melee and there was much more uh, traffic needed in the inside uh, part of this base. So we did because not really I focus. I think when the round started, I saw you as a heavy or I think it was, was it yeah, Naranox playing Light Assault as well? Yeah. Yeah, I saw you as heavy as I was thinking maybe because it's so close and the RPN got the cat that you were trying to go for the cap and then you'd switch out, but Traxon was still able to freely roam the roof, 
pull the drops, get those like frags on the people that were respawning. I just thought you would like have pulled an LA a lot quicker. Do you think like if you'd done that, you might have been able to win? Probably, yeah. Uh, this should have been more consistent in the um, in the flow of the match. Just With, like the, uh, it, the inside LA. was very intense. Obviously, maybe obviously yeah, was... in, in team speak situations, it's gonna seem like you're actually getting rolled over, but it was very equal. It was, like literally equal scores like 192 for the last 10 seconds that's how equal it was and it was yeah. pretty much like that for the last like four minutes of the match yeah it was a pretty one much point difference yeah it's 1.2 like, who's gonna get the frags because <laughs> it was it was extremely close i mean it was a 1.2 different uh one or two point difference for the last maybe four minutes of that match and it was just you know one team would you know get a wipe with one person living and then it would just go back and forth and the points were so close the entire time so it's beautiful match from both of you guys it really felt like uh we didn't really know how to react to the guys that were flanking on the roof like there were i think at one point like three roof heavies so Oh yeah, at the end I saw about three drop down with tracks and dropping door three and yeah. At that point, you you turned your backs. Those four people distracted you so hard that the two people that actually pushed through server, I think the liver and I think it might be uh, Nate, I think Nate. Yeah, Nate, yeah. I think it pretty was. They were able to just absolutely clean you up. Yeah. So maybe the the communication there, but I I honestly don't think the communication was a problem. It was just a. The fact you had no intel or info on what was going on the roof because you'd switched so late in the half the you, you, like the la you got killed you didn't realize there was four heavies up there so i, I think the communication is actually quite good like there was a lot of drops and people would instantly turn around sometimes there was a, a bit of a lack of communication maybe the bolt was engaged in front and then really think he was like oh i'm gonna be safe from behind for another few seconds i'm cloaked but overall like that match was really good even though i missed really the good. first half kind of it was very intense yeah. and also on our side pretty emotional yeah two point yeah, difference. i would imagine two yeah. point difference <laughs> yeah. closest game i mean that i mean the bolt pick at the end was pretty much the game changer right there so i mean it's a beautiful game guys so it's great to see that I think that's where it helps watching all these games, especially to people who, you know, have more skill and more experience than you, you know, being a relatively new team. And, um, I don't know, kind of crap, the, the watching them, like I saw in the other games, we saw so many teams doing a ton of flanking that have, like, two going on the roof, like we said, two dropping there, and that distraction, where it was we only used to only play one, or I'd be the only one dropping, the rest of the heavies would be inside. And they, they even, even they tried to, to flank, we managed to catch two of them off guard, but if we didn't catch those two flanking Swamp, that would have been pretty big for them. So, uh, I think flanks are definitely a big thing to consider. Definitely, you kept the, they kept you on their toes with that, um, the jungle Swamp flank. Definitely, I saw Ollie going there about a hundred different times. Some, yeah, I saw Ollie there a lot. A bit too early, Ollie. You're like, your, your team's like, yeah, they're dubs. And you're like, oh, cool, I'm going to run behind them. And there's five people standing there. You shoot one of them, you're like, uh oh. Yeah, like the all, whole team is already dead. And then you're just one guy there. Yeah. Chasing you back down, Swamp. Yeah. <laughs> you're literally like saying, farting, running away. Well, uh, <laughs> it was a great match to gonna be um i believe TBD uh tbd versus, versus prey. prey so uh Paris. Mm. all good i should have been here sooner but <laughs> we move <laughs>